kindergarten friends. Welcome to Unit 2, Week 5 of Language Arts. We are going to jump on into a new question for the week, which is, why is exercise important? So for the last couple of weeks, we've talked about what kind of foods we eat, where we find them, different animals, and how they eat those foods, as well as where they find those foods. Some animals, like the bees, we learned about how they make their food and how they store it. So this week, we're going to be talking about why is exercise important? And let's see, why do you think exercise import is, is important? And what is exercise? What is something that you can do to exercise? Okay, I want you to think about those things in your head and then we're going to look at page 166 and 167 in our unit two week five packet. And we're going to look at the poem, Let's Exercise. We have the title right here on the top. And a poem, it can be a short story Sometimes it rhymes, sometimes it's just a short little story that you can write and um, get information from. So this one says, let's exercise, and the poem goes, exercise is fun. You can run like a dog, exercise is fun. You can leap like a frog, exercise is good for you. You can be strong like a bear, exercise is good for you. You can be fast as a hare, okay? So you can be strong like a bear and as fast as a hare. Those two words rhyme. And a hare is another word for a rabbit or a bunny. Okay, and then this side, I want you to draw a picture of something that was in the poem. So I want you to draw a picture, maybe a bear, or maybe you want to be fast as a hare, fast as a bunny. So something that in the poem, maybe you would like to draw um, you leaping like a frog or running like a dog or a picture of those things, okay? So what I'd like you to do is stop the video, draw a picture, and then when you are ready to come back, we're gonna read the story, Run, Jump, and Swim. Okay, here is our story, Run, Jump, and Swim, and it is on pages 182 and 183 to start. Let's look on the left side first. Remember, we always look left to right, and on the left side, it says some vocabulary. We have swim, push, climb, and carry. So you can swim in the water, you can push a grocery cart, you can climb on the playground equipment, or you can carry things like a stack of books. And down here it says, read the text and look at the pictures to learn about why you should exercise. The author is Kimberly Feltz Taylor. She is the one who wrote the story. She has written more than 15 books. She likes reading, watching movies, and going on long walks and playing tennis. So that's a little bit about our author. And remember, an author is a person who writes the words in the story, and an illustrator is who draws the pictures. However, it looks like this is going to be photographs of real things, real people and objects and places, and so they did not draw the pictures, but they took the pictures with a camera instead. And this is a persuasive text, so this is telling us something that is important, it's informational, so it's going to persuade us to try and exercise. So on the front cover, we have the title, Run, Jump, and Swim, in big, bold, blue letters. Down at the bottom, it says it's written by Kimberly Phelps Taylor. And what are they playing on the front cover? What sport is that? It's soccer, right? So we have the blue team and the red team, and they are playing soccer. Okay, I'd like you to open up your book, and let's read the story. Okay, boys and girls, make sure you have your pointing fingers ready. If you are an e-learning friend, you should have the packet at home already, and I'd love for you to follow along with Miss Beery. If you are a B-Day friend, you'll get your packet when you come into school and see Miss Beery or Mrs. Morgan and read it with us, okay? So if you are just at home e-learning today, go ahead and read the story with us. We start on page 184, and here's our question for the story. Why should you exercise? And what is the girl doing in the picture? What kind of exercise, what kind of movement is she doing? She is doing a hula hoop. She's playing with a hula hoop. Okay, next page. Exercise is fun. It gives you strength to carry things. So if you aren't exercising, if you aren't moving your body, then it's going to be hard for you to carry things. In this picture, I see a student carrying lots of heavy books. And let's look at our question. What does the author want us to do? Underline the words. So she wants us to figure out why we should exercise. So that is our question. Let's turn to the next page. Okay, ready? Pointing fingers, reading with Miss Beery. Exercise is fun. It gives you power to push things. Look at the little girl pushing the grocery cart, and that's just her size, right? Some stores have those little grocery carts, so then you can push one just like mom and dad. And you need to have power to push those things. 
I know if you are um, at school and you see the cafeteria workers push that big cart of food up the ramp so that way they can give us those food bags, they need to make sure that they exercise and have lots of muscles to be able to push those things. Her little cart's pretty full, so if you don't exercise, if you don't use your muscles, it's going to be hard for you to push the groceries. The next side, it says, exercise is fun. It helps your bones and heart stay strong. So if you're not using your body, if you're not moving, then your body is going to be, it's going to be harder on your body to try to do those things. So if you are just sitting at home playing video games all day, and then you try to run outside and play, it's going to take a lot more energy. So we need to make sure that we eat healthy and exercise and stay strong. So then when you go to the doctor, the doctor also can tell that you're growing, your bones are getting stronger, your heart is pumping really well. Okay. Okay. What can you do to exercise? You can run, you can climb. So you can run outside, you can climb on the playground equipment. Um, some kids climb trees. Make sure you have a parent watch you as you do that. Um, you don't just have to go on to like, as adults, some of adults use different exercise equipment like a um, elliptical or um, a stationary bike, those kinds of things. But exercise can be fun. You can just run outside, ride your bike, um, go on a skateboard or rollerblading. Okay, next slide. You can jump, you can swim. And here's our question. What details does the author tell you about exercising on these pages? So it's letting us know we can run, climb, jump, swim, okay? Let's look at the last page or two more. Last page. Exercise is fun. It makes you feel good too. So when you exercise, it gives you energy and you get excited and it can be a lot of fun. It is fun to exercise with your friends. So it's letting you know that you can run and play and jump and swim with your friends too. You don't need to do it by yourself, okay? So for the rest of the week, we're going to be talking about exercising and using our bodies and making sure that our heart's pumping and making sure that we're doing things to stay healthy. So we, make, we do things to stay healthy, like exercise and eat healthy, just like we need to wear a mask to stay healthy so we don't get those germs in our body too. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do our practice pages 68 and, uh, on page 168 and 169. If you are an A day friend or a B day friend, you'll be doing these pages with Ms. Beery or Mrs. Morgan in the classroom. If you're an e-learning friend, then you'll have the packet with you. Okay, boys and girls, so I'm looking at page 168 and then 169, and our new letter this week is the letter E. For an E, you start at the very top of the skyline. Go straight down to the grass line, pick your pencil up, you slide across on the skyline, slide across on the plane line, and slide across on the grass line. Wonderful. For a little e, you're going to start right here in the middle of the two and slide over, make just a straight line, and then you're going to curve it around like a C to make an E. Okay, let's look at that again. For big E, start at the very top clean line, go straight down, like an elevator, go straight down, and you're gonna slide across on the skyline, slide across on the plane line, and slide across on the grass line, okay? And then for little E, you are going to start right here in the middle of the plane line and the grass line, slide over, and curve around just like a C to make an E. Okay, wonderful. So instead of looking for the E at the beginning of the words, we're going to be looking for them in the middle of the words on this side. So Ms. Beery is going to get her crayon ready for you to be able to see, and then I want you to be using your pencil just in case you make any mistakes. So on this one, we're looking for that middle sound for the E eh sound, for the E E. Eh. So we have web. Let's listen. Web. Do you hear the E? Eh? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Go ahead and circle it. Next, we have bus. Let's listen. Bus. What sound do you hear in the middle? Bus. Do you hear the e? Eh? No, we hear the uh, uh, the uh for you, not the e eh for e. So I'm going to cross it out. And then I'm even going to write the u underneath, just so we know that it's not an e, but it's a u in the middle. Next, we have pen. Let's listen. P -e -n. Do we hear the e eh, eh for the e? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Go ahead and circle it. Fabulous. Next we have bug. Let's listen. Bug. Bug. What sound do we hear in the middle? Do we hear the eh? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. We're going to cross it out. 
What sound do we hear in the middle of bug? Bug. What's the uh? What letter is the uh? It's a U. Go ahead and write that underneath if you'd like. So we know it's not a E, it's a U. Next we have red. Let's sound it out. Er, ad. Er, ad. Do we hear the F for the E? We do. Give it a thumbs up so you can go ahead and circle it. Two more. We have pig. Ready? Pug. Pug. Do we hear the E in the middle of pig? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. We're going to cross it out. What letter do we hear? We don't hear a e, e, we hear a I, I, I. What's the I sound? What letter is that? It's an I. Go ahead and write it underneath if you'd like. Last one is net. Ready? N, et, n, et. Do we hear the E in the middle of n, et? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Go ahead and circle it. Okay, next page. We're going to write these E's, and then we're going to be looking for the E's in these words. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to trace each of these E's with your pencil. Miss Beery is going to use her crayon. Okay, wonderful. And then what I'd like you to do is trace over that with your red crayon and maybe another crayon too. Remember, the more we practice writing those letters, the better we will get, okay? So pause the video, trace it with two different colors, red and one other after your pencil, and then you can continue your, continue your video, okay? Now we're gonna be looking for more E's in the middle of these words. So our first one is net, ready? N-et, do we hear the E? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, go ahead and circle it. Okay, next is log. Ready? Ol, og. Do we hear the e eh in the middle of ol, ol, og? No, cross it out. Next is man. Okay, m, a, n. Do we hear the e eh in m, a, n? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down, cross it out. Okay, next we have pen, ready? P-E-N, do we hear the E in the middle of P-E-N? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, go ahead and circle it. Last row. Next is nut, do we hear the E in the middle of nut? n a t thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down, cross it out. Next is leg. Do we hear a e eh in leg? O e eh, g. O e eh, g. Thumbs up. Go ahead and circle it. Okay, so on the top picture we had a picture of man, but now we have lots of, instead of one man, we have men because there's many. So do we hear a e eh in men? M e eh, n. M e eh, n. Thumbs up or down? Thumbs up. Go ahead and circle it. Okay, last one for today is pan. Do we hear the e eh, eh, in pan? P a eh, n. P a eh, n. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. We do not hear e eh, in pan. Cross it out. Okay, boys and girls, you did fabulous today. I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday for some more language arts. Bye, friends.